Hey guys, sorry I've been MIA. I've been really busy. I have a main gig doing a government work. I work for the government. And then I also part own a small little business. And so lately we've just been really swamped and I can't find a lot of people to work for me. So yeah, but anyways, um, quick update. I have about 600 miles on these long tube headers ceramic coated like i said they're from tps motorsports they still look brand new i mean i know 600 miles is not a lot i haven't blown any o2s um i'm gonna make a video because i get a lot of people asking me a lot of specific questions on this build with you know in terms of like parts i've used you know for internals like the lifters the uh timing chain push rod length and all that stuff so i'm gonna make a video kind of giving a full breakdown of everything because this is an 08 3LT car with the MPP and I still have yet to put on the ZR1 muffler. Sorry, it's a bit of a rattle. But um, I have suspension work, obviously the head's cam, and uh, I got to change out my brakes too. But uh, basically it's an 08 C6 for the people that know me, manual, you know, TR6060 car. I have a Bilstein Sport Shocks, the V8s all around. I have Doug uh, Ripple Motorsports um, uh, shock bushings for the insulators in between the upper and lower pad things. I have Power Stop uh, Z23 pads currently with some, I think they're brake motive rotors or something, but I'm gonna get a full new set of Power Stop Z26s with uh, drilled and slotted rotors coming up in the next month or so. Um, I have Hotchkiss sway bars. I believe that's a 33 millimeter in the front and a 29 in the back, just a little bit bigger than the Z06. Um, I have a Z06 leaf spring sitting in my, actually it's a Z51, sorry. It's a Z51 front leaf spring because the base uh, leaf spring is really shitty. I think it's only rated at around 420 pound spring rate. The rear of a base is actually more than a Z51. So I'm gonna put the Z, Z51 uh, front spring on there that will really tighten up the front of the car. And then for um, obviously internal, like I'm sorry, motor mods and stuff, I have the infamous Spin Monster Cam on Texas Speed uh, lobes, 230, 234 with 615, 600 lift on a 114 LSA plus two. It's got Johnson 2010 lifters with a GM, OEM uh, trays. It's got a C5R timing chain. It's got Brian Tooley 660 springs with the titanium retainers and Brian Tooley uh, 7.35 inch push rods. I have GM PP CNC ported LS3 heads. And it's a Haltech MF103, a GPI uh, rod mod uh, intake manifold TPS headers with catalyst X pipe. I'm going to also open up the hood here. So you guys can see uh, and I have a ported VMAX throttle body they don't do that anymore I guess Pete retired or something so I would just get your ported throttle body from GPI the GPI does the rod mod for 275 and then the throttle body for 125 bucks so yeah Haltech MF 103 to a ported um, throttle body uh, rod mod intake manifold um, GPS Motorsports headers I use uh, Z06 plugs, they're an AC Delco, they're the 104, 101.4, I think it's 104, with uh, Taylor wires, I gotta get new wires because this one right here gets really close, so I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna get new wires, those are two years old anyway, so Taylor wires with OEM Z06 plugs, uh, if you got, for the guys that don't know, you got uh, the AC Delco, like I said, the I think it's the... 101-4, whatever it is, the Z06 and the ZR1 share the same plug, and those plugs are good for like 700, probably around 700, 800 wheel. A lot of people would go to NGK. When Shane built this car at TT Performance, he put in NGK plugs, but uh, after last season, I ended up swapping them back to just the AC Delcos. No preference, it's just these are a little cheaper, I guess. And some people have like issues with the, um, the charging system with those plugs for some reason, but yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, I need to do, I really need to uh, 
uh, change my brakes and flush the brakes. And I use DAT3 fluid um, for the clutch. I do the Ranger method to clean it out. It is made it to, like I said, the MVP. And these are, a lot of people ask me, these are American Racing AR924 Crossfire wheels. They're a 19 by 10 in the rear and an 18 by eight and a half in the front. The front offsuit, uh, offset is I think a 55 or a 50 and the rear is a 75. Um, I have Michelin Pilots 4.4 S's, 295, uh, 35 in the back and 255, uh, 40, 18 in the front. Um, I'm trying to think of any other things. This car eventually is gonna get boosted. Obviously I have a, uh, Eagle Eye tail lights, and I got the blacked out side markers from Vet, li uh, vet, uh, vet Lights, and the Factor MPP exhaust. But one of them is rattling, so if you can kind of look down here, these headers, that brake lid. Like, wow. But yeah, that's pretty much my car. If you guys got any questions, I'm waiting for my buddy's car to get out of the shop. He has a draggy in it, and we're just summing up use it to test the times i guess a lot of people know but i think this car is right around probably high sevens low eights something like that depending on really the drive most of the time where i do a lot of my pulls actually it's kind of like uphill but yeah it's a quick little car for what it is i mean it surprises a lot of people 500 wheel in a 3100 pound car that's another video i'm going to do i'm going to take this uh it's actually funny it's actually to a landscaping supply place where i get up my a lot of stuff from because I have a small landscaping business. But um, we're gonna weigh the car officially, and I think this thing's gonna weigh in right around 3,100 pounds, depending on how much gas is in it. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I know I'm not a big YouTuber or anything like that. I mean, it'd be cool to hit a 1,000 subscribers, I guess. I'm trying to think of like some content to create for you while I have some kind of time. I'm leaving for Miami in, uh, actually, yeah, two days, Thursday. I'll be in Miami from Thursday to Monday, a vacation. I'm going to go to the Outer Banks uh, in the later in the year, and then Scottsdale uh, even later than that. So, yeah, uh, comment down below whatever you guys want me to do. Um, I'm going to be once the once the car scene kind of starts uh, up here in Michigan. It's uh, it goes a Mustang. You don't want to get gapped. But uh, once the car scene starts here in Michigan, there's a lot of meetups, and I'm going to, going to try to record a lot of that stuff because. Um, the CT performance guys, everyone's making 800 to 1,000 plus wheel. A lot of big races go downtown, uh, go down. So I'll be trying to get a lot of footage for you guys so you can kind of see the scene in Troy. I know there's a lot of other Detroit YouTubers, but you can see for, you can see it from a normal guy's perspective, I guess. So, and another thing I got to do too, um, I do keep this car kind of relatively clean, but um, I'm going to have this car paint corrected and ceramic coated. So. Stay tuned, guys. I'm going to try to make some content. I mean, I don't obviously put out videos every day, but, you know, I try to keep a little bit going. So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you guys have a good day.